welcome back to another video. I'm enjoying myself in Katy, Texas, having an awesome time. You know, I've been to Katy, but whenever I'm in Katy, typically um, when I was younger, I was in um, New Katy. But man, I'm coming out here and I'm seeing, you know, it's a lot of beautiful things in old Katy, you know, because I like the old school restaurants and the small town feel. And so I'm having a really good time. Let me show y'all this view right quick, man, from my room right out there. I don't know if y'all can see it, but yeah, beautiful water out there, man. And so I'm enjoying myself, but I had a quick thought about why we should put ourselves around the right people and knowing that it takes teamwork in order to get to our destiny. You know, our coach, our high school coach used to say it take teamwork to make the dream work. And um, so I was thinking about this because even when you think about like the Super Bowl and when you think about getting to the Super Bowl or getting to the NBA championship, you can't get there just because you have one great player. Because if that was the case, then certain teams will go every year. But you don't go as far as your dream, you go as far as your team. And so the Bible says that before Jesus started his earthly ministry, um, the Bible talks about how he prayed before he chose his 12. And when we talk about prayer, a lot of times we hear it in the context of, hey, you know, you should pray for strength and you know, you should pray for wisdom and all these things are vitally important. But I want to encourage you guys to think about it from this way. We should pray for the wisdom to know who to put around us because we don't go as far as our dream. We go as far as our team. And the thing about the NFL draft and the thing about the NBA draft is you can't have a good team if you draft bad. So I was reading this interesting article about how the Fortune 500 companies choose who they're going to hire and what's like the most important determining factor in that. And in the 1970s, the most important factor in who they hired was how well they could read and how well they could write. But currently, they did a recent study, the Fortune 500 companies, about what is the most important characteristic of an employee now, now in 2022. And the most important characteristic was how well do they work within a team? Because they understand something that you can be talented individually, but if you can't work as a team, then a company can't go forward. And so I want to encourage you guys to, as we go into this new year, evaluate who you around. Are they bringing value? Are they pulling you up? Can you call on them? Are they bringing the best out of you? Because in life, you don't go as far as your dream. You go as far as your team. And another thing that I want to encourage you guys with is that sometimes when you let people go who you have walked with for a long time, it's not easy, but it's worth it because nothing is more important than getting to your destiny. Nothing is more important to get into that place that God wants you to get at. So reevaluate your circle. If you got good people, continue to rock with them. If you got some people who you know that's not great for you, by faith, pull out your phone, man. Delete them from your contact list because you need the right team. Think about this. Jesus had all power, but still chose 12 people to walk with him. He had all power, and he still knew that he needed a team around him to get to his destiny. So think about that, guys. I'm enjoying myself. Hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Comment below. Hit that like button. I appreciate all the new subscribers. Email me if you want to get in touch with me. Love you, man. Have an awesome day.